Hi, how's it going? Welcome to Loft 801. My name is Diego, and today I'm going to be reviewing the action thriller comedy Bullet Train. It was directed by David Leach and was released in the USA on August 5th, 2022. The movie follows an unlucky assassin, Ladybug, and his derailed mission as he deals with other assassins. Now, before I hop into my review, if you want to support the channel, please take a second to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. It is super appreciated. This review will contain heavy spoilers, so continue at your own risk. Also, I'd like to apologize for the lack of posts. As you can see, the studio has undergone some renovations, and I have a slight tan because I was in Hawaii for a week. Anyways, I am back in town, so I am hoping to get a video out every week. Lastly, if there's something you want to see reviewed, don't forget to let me know by leaving a comment and I will get to it. All of that said, we're hopping in in three, two, one. So Bullet Train has a variety of characters and I will cover them as quickly as I can. First off, there's Ladybug, who's reluctant about his job given his recent bad luck. There is Yuchi Kimura, who is looking to enact revenge after his son was attacked. There there are Lemon and Tangerin who rescued a man called The Sun and are returning him to his father and big bad Russian born Yakuza boss, The White Death. There's also Bad Bunny, <clears throat> I mean the wolf. He wants revenge for his wife's death and he thinks the ladybug is responsible. There is also the prince, the young woman that attacked Yuchi's son and the mastermind behind the chaos on the train. There's also the hornet, a poisoner who actually killed the wolf's wife. Mid ride, the elder gets on the train. He is Yuchi's father and the White Death is his greatest enemy. Lastly, there's Maria Beetle, Ladybug's handler. So now that you know each chess piece, let's talk about the plot. Yuchi gets on the train to find the attacker and Ladybug must grab a briefcase of cash from the train. Lemon and Tangerine are taking the sun and the briefcase to the White Death. On the way, the sun gets poisoned. The wolf arrives and attacks Ladybug and accidentally kills himself. Yuchi finds the prince and is overpowered. Ladybug and Lemon fight. Ladybug and Tangerine fight. Lemon shoots Yuchi. Ladybug fights the hornet and kills her. Tangerine finds the prince and is about to kill her, but Ladybug kills him. The elder board the train. He tells Ladybug that the prince is evil and he tells him about her true motivations. Now, if you want to know what her motivations are, watch the movie for yourself. The elder, Ladybug, and Yuchi fight the White Death while the train pulls an Ozzy Osbourne. The White Death and the prince both die and Ladybug, Yuchi, the elder, Maria, and Lemon survive. The end. Honestly, I had so much fun watching this movie. Now, it was far from a perfect movie and had plenty of room to improve upon, but I thought it was a well-rounded movie. I thought the plot was fun and over the top, and I enjoyed seeing how each character came together to unravel the mystery of what was going on. Speaking of characters, they are what really made this movie stand out to me. I loved Brad Pitt's Ladybug. He's a reluctant hero, and it's funny how his bad luck is what saves him in nearly every situation he's in. I also loved seeing Bad Bunny as the wolf. His backstory was so cool, and I thought it was funny how he was built up just to die by his own hand. Michael Shannon and Hiroyuki Sanada as the White Death and the Elder were also an interesting combination. Seeing them face off reminded me of older martial arts movies. I also enjoyed Zazie Beats as the Hornet and I wish we could have seen another female assassin kicking butt. Joey King, Andrew Koji, Logan Lerman, and Sandra Bullock all did good jobs, but their characters weren't as cool or as interesting. However, the two standouts in the film were Brian Tyree Henry as Lemon and Aaron Taylor Johnson as Tangerine. The chemistry between these two is phenomenal. They take brother from another mother up a notch. I loved Lemon's Thomas the Train stickers and Tangerine's annoyance with him. I also loved how they have a brotherly bond where they get mad at each other but still fight together as a team. That's love. Now, I do have to admit that I am a bit biased with my love towards Tangerine. One, because Aaron Taylor Johnson is a handsome guy and two, less than an hour after watching this movie, a random kid at the mall called me Tangerine. Now, whether I look like him or not, my day was made, son. When it comes to themes, I don't think there's any real meaning in this film. It's just a fun movie. However, if we really want to stretch and try to find some meaning in this film, then I guess we can say it's about luck and fate. I think the elder sums things up nicely when he tells Ladybug, bad luck protects you 
from a worse fate. In other words, what you think is bad luck is actually good luck. In Ladybug's case, his bad luck is what saved his bacon the entire movie. It's kind of interesting to me because I feel like every character had a connection to luck, fate, and karma throughout the film, but I don't want to dive too deep into that. Just enjoy the movie for what it is, a fun, goofy, over-the-top action thriller. Considering the direction and pace, this is where I think the movie could have used some improvement. The movie ran for two hours and six minutes, which isn't bad because the movie is enjoyable, but Lemons Thomas the Train stickers were definitely overused. There were several lengthy sequences as he explained why he used the stickers and views and categorizes people through their lens. The first time he does it, it's funny. The second time he does it, it's still funny, but the humor is waning. The third time he does it, it's like, come on, dude, wrap it up and get back to the action. Other than that, I didn't really have any major complaints about the direction and pace of this movie. I thought the score, soundtrack, and dialogue were all great. I say this in a lot of my reviews, so I'm gonna gloss over it, but I thought the score and soundtrack helped invoke the correct emotions I needed to experience throughout the film. The dialogue was fun and helped add to the campiness of the movie. All right, that's enough. I'm moving on. I thought the cinematography was great. Despite being constrained to a bullet train, the movie had some creative angles and close-ups that helped make the train feel simultaneously spacious and constrictive, helping keep things fresh. The backstories of several characters introduced different environments and settings which were really cool. My best example is The Wolf. Lastly, I thought this movie was oddly colorful, which worked really well in its favor. My eyes were pleased. Overall, Bullet Train is a movie that I really enjoyed. I thought it was over the top and cheesy, and I bought into it. The action was choreographed well, and the characters were creative, unique, and fleshed out. I loved Ladybug, The Wolf, and The Hornet, but I especially loved Lemon and Tangerine. The twins were an awesome duo, and I would love to see a prequel film for them. The movie's story was engaging and I liked the tone, but I thought there could have been some improvements to the pacing. The Thomas the Train sticker explanation felt a bit too repetitive and dragged out. On the other hand, the score, soundtrack, and dialogue were all great and supplemented the movie nicely. I enjoyed the cinematography and interesting, colorful visuals within the train. I found this movie to be funny and entertaining and I gave it an 8.7 out of 10. If you like action movies or comedies or better yet, both both, I would highly recommend watching this movie. In fact, I'd recommend watching this movie just so you can laugh at Lemon and Tangerine. Thank you for listening to my review of Bullet Train. If you enjoyed the content and want to support the channel, leave a like and hit subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the content, thank you for sticking around. I appreciate it. If you agree or disagree with me, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to read what you have to say. Lastly, if you want to see some more from me, you can check out my vlogs linked up above or my podcast, Friends With Benefits. My name is Diego, and I will see you next time.